Hi, welcome back to another Mav Computers tutorial. My name is David Cease, and I'm going to walk you through this process. Today, we're going to be working with VoIP options. Please follow along. There's going to be several videos and topics that we cover. If you have any questions, please post below, and we'll be glad to answer them. Hi, welcome to another training session. Today, we're going to be going over the Cornexa app. In this example, this is going to be used for Apple iOS, but you can search the um, Android store and find the same application. All right, so once you log into your Apple store, find Cornexa, and then download the program. Once downloaded, it's going to make you sign in with the same credentials that you use to sign into your dashboard. Once signed in, this is the screen that you're going to be presented with. Let's go over some of the options. As far as meetings go, this is if you were going to schedule a meeting, kind of like join meeting or join.me. Um, as you can see here, I threw a meeting on here so you can have an example. If you were to create a new meeting from this application, you can hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And then you can either start a meeting now or you can schedule a meeting. Let's go back. Rooms are if you have any kind of virtual meeting rooms. Typically, you would set this up on your desktop or through email, and then they would show up here. Voicemails are pretty straightforward. Of course, all of this is going to be blurred out, but if you were to have a voicemail on your system, you can simply click on the voicemail and you could listen to it. Let's go back. Messages are twofold. You have the option of chatting with other Cornexa or Cordial uh, users. As you can see here, a test message from me and Alex. Or if you subscribe to the SMS or text messaging feature, you would then have this feature unlocked. As far as conference calls, this would show up if you were in a meeting with uh, three or more people. Your recent call list is a combination of a few things. You have your recent calls, you have your dial pad, and you have your contacts, which includes all of your favorites, any community favorites, and your personal stuff. The same three items are here as well, contacts and dial pad. You have a virtual attendant. Typically, we do not set up virtual attendance. We use the auto attendance. But if you did have a virtual attendance set up, you would see it here. And then last but not least is settings. Settings gives you a few options of managing your notifications or logging or call options. Most important one here on this screen is if you uh, want to set do not disturb, you would just simply turn it on and you would not be disturbed through the Cornex app. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. Um, chat settings. This is uh, how long you want to keep the settings before the, uh, the history before they close. And then any meeting settings if you want to sort everything um, alphabetical or not. And then last but not least is going to be your profile. All right, that concludes our demonstration for today. If you have any questions, please comment below. Or, as usual, you can hit us up via phone at 512-251-6446 or via email at help at mavcomputers.com. Thank you.